The Mustang has been around since April 17th of 1964. Fast forward, we've done six generations of Mustang. In September this past year, we launched the seventh generation of Mustang. So the first thing, this is the dark horse. I told you 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated, fourth generation Coyote motor. It is the five liter Coyote with some of the GT500 internal parts. We did an all new EcoBoost 2.3 liter motor. Then in the design, right? Mustang has the sloping hood, the short lip over the wheel, the eyes looking at you, aggressive without being mean. This time we did the LEDs in the three pony trabar like. So coming from the front in there, you can see it. So the engineers in that did that sloping hood that you see, um, that hood line to actually get some of that aerodynamics. Um, the, the, ta the painted stripes here are actually painted as like the wind goes over it in the wind tunnel. So when we do the smoke and the steam and you see like wind tunnel stuff, you can see the pattern where the wind goes over on it. Um, on the dark horse, you have the two openings here that feed a dual inlet air box. Got one right here and one right here that flows into a throttle body for more efficient air. Now I'm a marketing guy, right? But my engineering friends tell me, if you're able to breathe easier, you're able to actually produce more. You're more efficient out of it. Now, on the dark horse, it is the first new nameplate we've done since the 2001 bullet. The designers spent a ton of time on the batch. It is the first forward-facing pony we've put on there. In the nostrils, the two nostrils, if you've ever watched horses run on the video, what happens as they are getting into their full gallop and stride is their nostrils expand so they can get more air in, so they can be faster. Our nostrils expand so it can come in into the dual air box to get you go faster. It's kind of like a form and function. So the design team worked really closely with the engineering team on it. And it's a pretty cool story. It has the Tremec six speed 3160. It has a anodized titanium shift knob. So what else did we do to try to kind of bring in the younger audiences? What we did was worked with the Unreal Gaming technology that powers the Rocket League and games like Forza. And that is now on the inside of your screens in a 12.4 inch and 13.2 inch connected screen behind glass that allows you to customize and personalize your technology in your car. Your screen here, it now sits like a cockpit. It wraps around you, the corners entered in. Old Mustangs, first six generations, had the dual eyebrow. We changed that to be performance, so when you sit in here, you feel like you're sitting in a cockpit. And then you can actually, and he'll show it up there, generate images of your vehicle, and you wanted to go to change your suspension, it highlights the suspension in the car so you can play with it as it goes. We now know that the younger generation wants to personalize their electronics and personalize differently. We have now six individual settings so you can set your suspension and your brakes and on your gauges and on your clusters and put the gauges on there and set all six of them. So like if you not only have different drivers, but if you're in a different mood, like Thursday night after five o'clock when my boss has done nothing but be on me all day and I want to jump in there, I'm going to hit the mode that says, okay, I want the exhaust wide open. I want it in racetrack mode, track use only. And I want to drive under the underpass and I want to pop it into neutral and rev it and hear the exhaust reverberating off of the overpass. I have that mode already programmed. So what it's going to allow to do is younger people to, to, to actually personalize the vehicle in a manner with which you personalize your technology today. 
So that's some of the technology and some of the performance that we put into the seventh generation Mustang. And we want you guys to be able to go out there and enjoy it, work on it, and, and work with it, but also play with it.